Encode Automation is a complete environment for automated data storage, analysis, and reporting. It is a scalable solution that is available in three editions to meet the needs of a single user up to a corporate system. The purpose of this video is to get you started with the basics by exploring the interface and features of Automation Personal Edition. The data used in this video is part of the demo service that comes with every install of Encode. Here's the Encode application, with menus on the far left, available data in the white area, the automation data tree just below it, and the main window to the right. The automation data tree displays index data which can be stored on a local or network drive. It is important to note that indexing does not relocate data. It simply organizes and displays the data in a tree structure within ENCODE. In this example, the data is organized by vehicle type and variant. Data can be indexed as a whole folder or as a data file by selecting the Index Data tool. This opens a wizard that takes the user through the indexing process. During this process, ENCODE looks for recognized file types of data, as well as associated files like spreadsheets, documents, and images, which will be indexed as attachments. All the files that are indexed will be fully searchable in ENCODE, including content of files such as the value and cells of a spreadsheet. This searching capability can be demonstrated with the search tool along the top. Once selected, the main menu will display a search field where text can be entered as a search criteria. In this example, the word pressure returns a number of tests that contains channels of pressure data. There are a number of things that we can do with the returned results. We can quickly see where the object is in the automation data tree. We can view it graphically in the ENCODE viewer and we can add it to the available data for more detailed interactive processing in GlyphWorks. The next step is to run a query which can return a report based off of things like the characteristic values that were generated earlier. Here is a list of queries that have already been created. Most of these queries are set up to work together in a matrix report which we'll cover later. For now, we'll just look at this query that will return all the time series events. We can see how this query is constructed by selecting Edit. The query wizard first asks for a criteria. This example is looking for an event in the time series format, which is shown here. The next page shows all the properties that will be returned if an event matches the selected criteria. We can see that the object names of all the levels of the automation tree will be returned. Going back to the query template page and running it will return a report. The report can be exported as a CSV file or PDF, and the results can be located, viewed, or sent to the available data. The queries can be inserted into a report template. Doing this will allow us to configure the results as a matrix rather than a table. Navigating home will open a matrix report that has already been generated for this demo service. This matrix has been set up to display a column for each vehicle type and a row for each variant. The boxes in the matrix show averages of characteristic values for all tests in a given variant and vehicle type. Samples of the results include fuel economy, max engine power, and number of events. These values can even be color-coded with conditional formatting if they exceed a predefined value. Clicking on a box allows us to drill down and see summary results and time series files of all of its events. These time series files can be selected, located, and add it to the available data window. If we return home, we can click on a variant and then the vehicle type to bring up bar charts and pie charts for the key characteristic values. These are just a few of the features in automation. Other common features include report flows, report templates, and reports. This concludes our quick video introduction to automation. For further assistance, you can find help in a number of places within automation. Help buttons appear throughout the features in automation, and PDF documents are included with every install. You can also visit our website at hbm.com/encode.